So aloha and welcome everyone to the Tao Wellness Practice. You know, this practice is so that we can do our part. We receive a lot of blessings, but the blessings alone does not heal and rejuvenate us as quickly as we can. But when we do the practice, that's when we start to transform our lives even faster. So um, this is a wonderful way to do it. And the, one of the words that Master Shaw uses is ten then goban. Ken is heaven. Then is human, humanity or human beings. And Ken blesses us, you know, from heaven we have blessings. And then now human being need to do the part to 50-50. It says goban means 50% we get the blessing, 50% we do our part, and together we can start to heal and transform our lives. So when you are here doing the practice, you know, we're very, very blessed because the more people that join us, the more powerful our practice becomes. And um, I think I forgot to mention, my name is Annette Omuro, and I am one of the co-owners of the Satori Family Wellness Center. And it's my joy to be here with all of you to do these practices, you know, the first three Mondays of each month. So thank you for joining. So we're going to start today. Let me see if I have to share anything. I, I usually jot down. Okay. But yes, today I think we're going to be doing um, a practice. If we have time, um, tracing Da Guang Ming. So, you know, whenever you see a calligraphy or any high frequency um, calligraphies on the screen, we just keep them in our hearts. You know, spiritual protocol says um, we do not take any photos or any still shots or recordings. All right. So we are grateful that you honor our wish and heaven's wish as well. So let us begin, first of all, by doing our forgiveness practice. Okay. So you can do your forgiveness practice. You can hold your hand in this position, you know, or you can put your hand on your lower abdomen, you know, both hands. Or you can do the soul light or a hand prayer position with your left hand close to but not touching your message center. And the other one in the prayerful position, you can make sure your fingers are pointing upward. You know, many times when I'm doing my practice and, you know, I'm sometimes I'm just into the practice. And then I notice that when I look up, my hand is pointing another way. So let's keep our fingers so that we can connect to heaven. All right. So I will just put my hands together in prayer position, and you can do that as well. And we'll say, dear all the souls, my ancestors and I have hurt or harmed in all of our lifetimes. We deeply apologize, and we love you from the bottom of our hearts. We know that we have hurt or harmed you in this lifetime and in past lifetimes. And we ask for forgiveness. And we know that in order to be forgiven, we need to serve. We need to serve to make others happier and healthier. We also call the souls that have hurt our ancestors and all of us here. And we say to you, we love you. And we forgive you unconditionally, meaning we hold no hatred or anger towards you, only love. And we wish for your good health, for your happiness, for wonderful relationships, flourishing, and much, much more. And so when we can wish this upon those that have hurt us, heaven will respond. And also the souls that you know we have hurt will start to forgive us as well. And forgiveness is truly the key to really move ahead on our spiritual journey as well as our physical journey. You know, many times when we are having challenges in our lives, start with forgiveness practice. So we're blessed to know this wisdom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are truly, truly blessed. So 
because you all know what the purpose is. We're going to do our practices today so that we do our part as well. So we're going to open our hearts further. You know, we're going to breathe in the light all the way down to our first, um, lower abdomen area. You can do it to your first soul heart. And then move it up to your fourth soul heart, which is the heart chakra. Okay, our message center area. And then we're going to say, ah, which is a vibrational, sacred vibrational sound that actually vibrates in our heart area that just happens to remove the blockages and open our heart further. So when we do the practices, wow, we're going to receive all these positive messages flowing because our hearts are wide open. Okay, so let us begin. Visualize the light, breathe in to your first soul house or your lower abdomen area. Move it up. Ah. Breathe in. Ah. One more time. Ah. I'm feeling that my heart really, open. especially when I do this motion, oh, you know, I can feel that light coming in, going up to my fourth soul house and it just actually clearing that area so that it can open further and receive more of the positive and you know the field that we're in right now we we have a field within us all of us make a field as well but each calligraphy also makes a field and when i play you know a lot of the videos that master shaw has created for us that creates a field when you hear his voice it's also a sound field right and so his frequency is very high. And so that's why we can remove a lot of these negative information that we are keeping on our soul, hearts, minds, and body. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to do the fire element. Okay. So let us remember last week we did the wood. The fire consists of not only our heart, but also our small intestines. So they work together, okay? And also our blood veins, our arteries, our tongue, right? And so um, all of these uh, things that you would like, but one of the important things is our the emotional body. You know, we have these unbalanced emotion and we want to work towards that and it is um, you know many times we have anxiety and depression and so when we do a practice to open our heart it will help us to remove that okay so this is a very wonderful um, fire element is a wonderful practice to do all the time okay now we're going to hear master Shah's voice so we're going to be in the presence of his frequency Ah. Breathe into your first soul house. Ah. 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 now go to the third step which is the circle this is an important step that's why I want to do this this is an important um, step 
to do. Aya, 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 yo. Aya, aya, yo. Aya, 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 yo. do the short chant using our jindan for our heart and many of us receive blessings for our heart so when we did the practice right now we are doing our part to heal our heart you know um, maybe you had a download for Dao Golden Light Ball and Dao Golden Liquid Spring for your heart but you need to do the practice you cannot just get the download or the um, treasure to heal you need to do your part, and right now we did our part, but we can do it more, even more by turning on our jindan, okay? And we can go with um, saying uh, the one that we did for our, our workshop. Ah, 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 jindan. So it's the jindan from this area, okay? From the sound of ah, jindan. And then we're going to say yang shin. Jinda, that means the heart, that it's going to nourish our heart and, you know, rejuvenate, transform our heart with this Jinda that we develop. Okay, so everybody just chant three times. Ah, 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 Jinda, Yang Shin. Jindan. Jindan is the golden light bulb, so visualize the light bulb in that heart area. Ah, 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 Jindan. Yang Shin, Jindan. Ah, 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 Jindan. 
杨逊，君丹。So we thank the Jin Dan for nourishing our heart with healing and rejuvenation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so that is very powerful. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do our. This is one of our most important um, uh, practices, the Qi channel and the Jing channel. Okay, so the Qi channel mantra is the healing channel, right? We call it the healing channel because when the when the energy starts to flow, blood starts to flow, and the blockages, you know, then everything starts to flow. In traditional Chinese medicine, it's one of the key ways to heal, to get the energy flowing, and then the blood starts to follow, and then, wow, our whole body, from head to toe, we are feeling good, okay? That's why if the blood is, or the energy is stuck somewhere, the blood is not gonna flow, that's when we have a lot of, uh, maybe, cysts or tumor or other kinds of ailment so this practice is a very important practice okay so let us do this practice and oh wait let me stop this for a second and you can you know there are acupuncture points right here in the palm of your hand right here so you can put your hand like this and go up the channel okay or we also have acupuncture point right by your wrist area so some people can do it like this I learned it this way, so um, I usually, you know, but sometimes if my hand goes this way, I'll just do it, okay, whatever way. So when you do the chi channel, you go outward, and then you come close to your body, okay? And then when you do the jing channel, because it goes up the spinal cord, you go closer to your body, and then you turn, and then you bring it down, outward, okay? So... Let us begin. Hey, Hong Hong, I see Wong Yu. 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 Okay, let's go to our Jing channel. And you remember, I as I said, we have a short practice time, right? But when you're doing the practice by yourself, you can do it as long as you want the longer you do it the better and if it's you know you have a chronic ailment or a life-threatening ailment do it at least two hours a day not you don't have to do it consistently uh, right two hours sitting down two hours you can do it half hour here 15 minutes here five minutes there half a, in no time it's going to add up to two hours right and so actually many times where we are not feeling well you can just lie down and visualize, you know, the healing, the energy flowing in your mind and chant it silently. So you can do that as well. Because I know many times when you're not feeling well, you can't sit up to do these practices, but you can also visualize it. You know, visualization, this creative visualization can manifest whatever you're visualizing. So, okay, so now we're going to do the Jing channel, which now we're going to go close to. This is the matter channel for rejuvenation and prolonging our life. Yo, Wong Yi Si Ya Hong Hong Hei. 
healing circle and we did our um, rejuvenation or prolonging our life and you know the Jing channel or the um, matter channel circle we are fulfilling we're filling up the oil lamp which is really what we need the oil lamp is right in the area of your third soul house it's a spiritual lamp but when that oil is depleted that's when we actually start to get tired or if it's completely gone that's when we transition and so we need to keep filling that up and as our um, traditional Chinese medicine um, you know practitioners say that uh, and our teacher says that only through spiritual practice like this can we fill that oil so we need to continually do our spiritual practices so that we can fill up the oil in that area now he also mentioned that you know for our heart our lungs you know we do have you know our oil lamps in each one of them too so sometimes if our heart is failing we want to replenish the oil in that area as well okay so it is really important to do these practices so what we're going to do now is I'm going to share because I said we're going to do um, a relationship practice with Master Shaw. So this one is to heal and transform relationship. So I want you to close your eyes first of all. Okay, close your eyes and I will, you know, the these practices come from this book here. Oh, <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't know. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. So it's called Tao Calligraphy Healing Field. Um, this is the book that I used to, and it's a, you can all get it from Amazon or even from uh, Master Shaw's store. But it gives us um, all of these practices, you know, the QR code you can practice all the time. But sometimes you practice it, as I said, by yourself powerful but when you're practicing with a group like this it's even more powerful okay so close your eyes at this time and I'm gonna say place one palm over your message center okay place the palm over your message center and the other one in your lower abdomen just below the navel and we're going to say for so far dear soul mind and body of myself and now name the person that you are having some relationship problems with it could be your co-worker it could be your spouse it could be your children your grandchildren your friend you know whoever name them at this time and bring them in front of you visualize them in front of you and say dear soul mind and body of my relationship with you I love you honor you and appreciate you please Forgive my ancestors and all of us for all the mistakes we have made in all of our lifetimes <clears throat> that have hurt or harmed you in any way. I sincerely apologize for all of these mistakes. I also forgive you and your ancestors 
totally and unconditionally for any and all the hurt or harm that you may have caused my ancestors and me in all of our lifetime. Thank you. Dear Tao Source and Divine, dear all the Buddhas, saints, and you can call in the saint or the holy being of your choice at this time. Dear Heaven, Mother Earth, and countless planets, stars, galaxies, and universes, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please forgive my ancestors and me for all of the mistakes, hurt, or harm we have caused in all lifetimes related to negative Shen blockages created in all kinds of relationships. I apologize from the bottom of my heart to you and all the souls my ancestors have hurt or harmed in these ways. I unconditionally forgive anyone who hurt or harmed me or my ancestors in all lifetimes as well. I am extremely grateful. Now visualize golden light connecting you, your ancestors, or, and the people, like any, even animals, organizations, cities, countries, from whom you have re requested forgiveness. Okay? So we're going to now do this, and then we're going to do this relationship one and then we're going to trace later on okay Quan Chu is forgiveness Quan Chu Quan Chu so you're asking the souls that you're having a difficult time with for forgiveness. Quan Chu. Quan Chu. Quan Chu. Quan Chu. Quan Chu. Okay. What we're going to do right now, remember we said Quan Chu was the forgiveness. You know, we're asking forgiveness from all those that we hurt or harmed. And, you know, our relationship turned bad. Okay. So. Let me share, um, I'm going to share with you the Tao calligraphy, let me see, um, of Da Quan Shu. So this is going to be uh, powerful. Let me put the Da Quan Shu on for you. And we're going to... I'm trying to get it onto my screen. Da Quan Shu. There we go. I'm hoping that you are able to see Da Quan Shu, which means greatest forgiveness. Okay, so you can trace. Okay, this is a little more difficult, but when you're tracing, you know, the light from the source is flowing into you. There's this Tao source light that comes. Tao source light of forgiveness. So as you're tracing with me, the light is flowing into you. It's forgiveness. And you're asking for forgiveness from all the souls you have hurt or harmed. And you're offering your forgiveness as well to those that have hurt or harmed you and your ancestors. There we go. So you can trace with your five fingers or you may trace also with your lower abdomen, but down tracing. 
Okay, so ready? You may begin. Da Quan Chu 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 How 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. We ask that this practice will help to bring our wonderful our relationship to become even better with those that we are having some problems with. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We have one minute. I was going to do the brain stimulation. We'll do it next time. But we're going to do what you sing all the time what you chant is what you become we want to become happy people right everybody happy 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 Quila, 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 quila. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. I am so grateful that all of you could join me today and hopefully you're going to have a very happy and wonderful day. So thank you, aloha and mahalo.